Hey, it's Kip here. Well, today we're going to do something a little bit different. Something I've been wanting to do for quite some time. We're going to grow some edible mushrooms. Um, this is going to be like a mini series, a part one. Um, I'm not an expert at this. I'm new to this, but I just saw I would share it to share it with you guys. And uh, we're going to be growing some wine caps, Kingsterferia. Um, I hope I pronounce that right. Stephyria rugosa annulata. That's a mouthful, but I can't wait to get a mouthful of those because they're going to be awfully tasty from what I've been told. But anyways, guys, it's uh, I got a lot of my stuff. I ordered right through um, right through uh, Field and Fortis Products right out of Wisconsin. And a good friend of mine, Half Duck, you know who you are, he grows a, a couple different uh, species of uh, mushrooms. And maybe we'll get over there sometime and do some video over there. Um, but I'm impressed. It's, it's a pretty decent hobby to get into. It's not real super expensive if you, you know, factor in the cost of the mushrooms. But anyways, let's move on to the bed and uh, some of the things I've read up on and uh, I'll do the best I can to make a short video here. This will be like a part one of a mini series. Um, basically, these like hardwood, um, bark, mulch, um, you know, uh, nothing real old though. You want uh, bark and mulch, it's fairly new. Find a um, local guy that trims trees or cuts trees that, you know, chops his brush up and stuff. You could probably get it for free. Um, we just happen to have a mill north of me that uh, that actually does all maple, any everything hardwood they do. So actually I got some fresh, uh, I got a couple yards of it. And it wasn't real expensive, so you put the bed down. Uh, you don't want it in the direct sunlight, but you don't want it completely uh, in the shade neither. Kind of a 50-50 type thing. Um, the main thing is put the bed down, make a nice thick bed, and that's what I've done here. And I'll take the video off the tripod and kind of give you a different, couple of different angles of this. But uh, basically I got the bed made, um, and the project comes in a package. These are five pound packages, and they'll do 50 square feet. Um, that's what they're saying. I'm going to go a little heavy. I got two packages, so really I could do 100 square feet. Uh, but that's probably going to be about right, uh, probably 10 by 10 or so. Like I said, this is a good six, you don't have to go six inches, but I got about six inches of good fresh mulch, uh, bark all ground up, and uh, I'll give you a closer up view of that. And the way it reads is uh, basically break this open, spread it around good, kind of fluff it up with a rake and put it a couple, two, three inches up on top. And, uh, and uh, water it for the first few weeks. Keep it damp and not flood it, don't drown it, and uh, we'll see what happens. So. Uh, Let's get this stuff spread and we'll get a better close-up. I'll give you guys a close-up. Um, these are the bags. This is a five-pound bag, 5.5 5 pounds to be exact. And that's what the spores will be shipped in. It's damp to the touch. And you can see the white. You know, I don't know. They say that's what you want to look for in four or five weeks. Once you start seeing that white chalky stuff, that's the actual spore working. So just want to give you guys a close-up of this. Let me open the bag up real quick here. We'll continue to spread this out. Like I said, this is kind of interesting to me. And I hope it's of interest to some of you guys. And uh, very compact, kind of moist. You guys can see that there, but it's enriched with the, with the spawn. And uh, let me give you a close up to the label here. Stropharia rugosa annulata. Sawdust spawn, wine caps, mushrooms, forest field products. So let's get the rest of this spread and then uh, we'll finish up this video. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I find this very interesting. I hope you guys do too. Um, like I said, I'm no expert at this, but if you have any things to share with me, I may be doing something different, feel free to leave your comments below. And if you like the video, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, leave it in the comments below. Like I said, this is going to be a small series of videos. This is basically part one. Um, and uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, if anything changes with the bed, I definitely will share it with you guys. And maybe by fall, we'll have some fruits of our labor. That's right. Wine cap king stephyria. Um, that's what some people call them. Um, they sound really delicious from my understanding. 
and uh, like I said, you never know what's next here, so stay tuned. You guys have a great day, and as always, thanks for watching.